Jaya Gopada Shinanda Krishna Jaya Jaya Gopada Jaya 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 Jai Jaya Jaya Jai Jaya Jai Jaya Krishna Pano Jaya Krishna Sundari Jaya Krishna Pano Jaya Krishna Sundari Jaya Krishna Pano Jaya Krishna Sundari Jaya Krishna Mahatma Krishna Sundari Jaya Purna Mati Jaya Abhira Nagari Jaya Purna Mati Jaya Abhira Nagari Jaya Purna Mati Jaya Abhira Nagari Jaya Purnamati Jaya Mahavira Jagari Jaya Jaya Gopi Kvara Vrindavana Ma Jaya Jaya Gopi Kvara Vrindavana Ma Jaya Gopi Swara Vrindavana Ma Jaya Jaya Gopi Swara Vrindavana Ma Jaya Krishna Shaka Bato Pujara Jaya Jaya Krishna Saka Bato Pujara Jaya Jaya Krishna Saka Bato Pujara Jaya Jaya Krishna Saka Bhakti Jaya Rohini Nanda Ramadatta Jaya Rohinananda Jaya Ramadatta Jaya Jaya Vindavan Vasijatha Jaya 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 Vrindavan Vasijatha Jaya 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 Vrindavan Vasijatha Jaya 
一切一切榮耀歸於前美之外的甜美，得在一切甜美情感 rasa 中最非凡，最是最是聖 Krishna 在 Raja 以前面嘅形象 ，Parikya Baba 傳遞嘅情感。嗯，好多。十一零四，係啦，記住主你。系阿南达的妻子圣加拿娃女神，加拿加拿娃加拿加拿娃 baby 的莲花烛 ，Krishna 的那个十分堕落而又卑微的仆人，歌唱至尊主的圣名。加拿加拿娃 ，Mark 先生，请问。So for those of you who don't know, this is a regular Monday class that we've been having for many years now. From 11 to 1. We've covered many topics. And most recently we've been Talking, discussing the pastimes of Krishna in Vrindavan, killing different demons. Um, so we have just been talking different obstacles. Um, so we're up to chapter 23, and that's the pastime that Maharaj will share today. And also, we're very happy that he's sharing with all of us. So, we're going to read the 23rd and 23rd and 23rd. So, we're going to continue with this time. So, 10th Canto, Chapter 23. Oh, Krishna Book, Chapter 23. Same chapter. So, we're going to read the 10th Canto, Chapter 23. We're going to read the 10th Canto, Chapter 23. Thank you. Krishna-prasvāya-bhūtale-śrīvate-bhakti-vela-ntas-vāvi-dhinā-vinē-namaste-tarat-pate-bhe-gaurabhādi-prasādhinē-nirvite-śāsanyavādi-vāsyatyād
。咁呢個燒魚時光咧，就係講到有一日咧，啊主 Krishna 同埋 Balaram 咧，就去到放牛啦，就離開到烏拉好遠嘅地方，咁佢哋一早就出咗門。咁佢哋去到嗰個時間咧，就好肚餓啦，已經開始。Lord Krishna and Lord Balaram in their childhood lila, they were cowherd boys. 咁主 Krishna 同埋主 Balaram 咧。喺呢個年代嘅燒魚時光嘅時候咧，佢哋就係牧羊羊嚟嘅。And they would take the cows with all the 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 cowherd boys. All the cowherd boys would go together with the herds of cows and go off into the forest. 咁誒 ，Krishna 同 Balaram 咧就同埋好多嘅牧羊羊啦，帶埋嗰啲誒乳牛啦，就去到呢個年代嘅森林嗰度咧，就放牧。In the forest, they can get nice. Grasses to eat and different, and then also the water of the Yamuna is there to refresh them. 咁喺誒林丹鳳嗰啲森林裏邊咧，佢哋啲啲牛咧就會有啲好鮮嫩嘅草咧去食啦，然後又有有滿埋嘅河水啦，清澈嘅河水咧俾佢飲啲嘢。So Lord Krishna and Lord Balarama, one morning, somehow they hadn't had any breakfast. 咁嗰一日咧，主巴拉同埋主菲娜咧，不知怎地咧，就冇带早餐去放牧。Krishna, Lord Krishna is omniscient. He knows everything. 咁当然啦，菲娜咧就系全知噶嘛，佢知晓一切。And he could understand the nature of these people who were nearby. 咁佢哋都好深晓咧，即系嗰度附近啲居民嗰啲心术。There were some brahmanas nearby. 附近咧就有一啲嘅客人嚟嘅。And these brahmanas were ritualistic brahmanas. They were doing activity. They were doing a yagya for material benefit. 咁呢啲婆罗门咧就系一啲好物质主义嘅，好功利性嘅。咁佢哋做呢啲祭祀咧，主要咧都系为咗一啲物质嘅利益嘅。You have to understand that not all brahmanas are devotees. 咁有一点你哋要明白咧，就系唔系所有婆罗门咧都系奉献者咯。Some brahmanas are pandits. 有啲 on the pandit means they know some scriptures, they know mantras, they know how to do yagyas. 嗯，咁有啲婆罗门咧就系 pandit 嚟嘅，咁 pandit 嘅意思咧即系话。佢哋誒知道經典啦，知道一啲祭祀嘅儀式啦。You go to a Hindu temple, there'll be some brahmana there to do the yoga. 嗯，咁佢哋去到一啲印度嘅廟宇裏邊啦，咁就去嗰度做一啲嘅誒祭祀祭祀儀式。And usually these yogas will be for some material benefit. 咁通常呢啲祭祀儀式咧，都係為咗得到一啲嘅功利嘅物質嘅利益。There are Brahmanas, of course, who are devotees. 咁亦都有啲婆罗门系奉献者。No, they're not so many. 但系唔系好多。You get more Brahmanas who are materialistic. 咁诶，更多嘅同婆罗门咧，就系想得到啲物质嘅嘢。The Brahmanas, they are described as earthly gods. 咁嗰啲婆罗门咧，被人被。被人啊稱為係誒地球上嘅神。They're not God, of course, but they're they're in they're given Brahmanas are meant to have the knowledge coming from God. 咁其實佢哋唔係神嚟嘅，佢哋實佢哋實際上嘅職責咧，應該係誒傳播神嘅知識嘅。And they're meant to distribute that knowledge, to teach that knowledge to the people. 嗯，而佢嘅職責咧，應該咧就係話。將啲知識咧去教導啲人。So the Brahmanas are meant to give instructions and guidance to help the people materially and and spiritually. 咁所以婆羅門嘅職責其實咧就係要去誒俾訓示啲人啦，同埋去教導佢哋點樣去去有生活。So Lord Krishna said to the cowherd boys that you know. Why don't you go and ask these brahmanas to give some food for us? 咁當啲牧童誒開始肚餓嘅時候咧，咁佢就叫誒
。但係啦，嗱，叫啲黃牛蟲咧就話，不如你哋去附近嗰啲婆羅門嗰度咧，問佢度攞啲食物啦。When you can use my name and Lord Balaram's name, tell them we're here and we're hungry. 嗯，咁你哋可以用我哋嘅名義喎，你可以話俾佢哋聽。誒、uh, Krishna 同埋 Balaram 喺附近，誒佢哋而家好餓啊，咁係想要一啲食物。So the cowherd boys, they went there to see these brahmanas, and they told the brahmanas how Lord Krishna and Lord Balaram were nearby. They've come with their cows, and they would like to get some food. 嗯，咁所以啲牛牛熊咧就去到。誒、uh, 附近嘅婆羅門屋企啦，就話俾你哋聽點樣而家 Krishna 同 Balaram 係喺附近啊，咁佢哋係希望得到你哋嘅幫助啊咁樣。But they didn't get any reaction from the Brahmin。但係佢哋咧係得完全得唔到啲婆羅門嘅反應喎。They didn't say yes. They didn't say no. 佢哋連答佢哋是得或者唔得都一句聲都唔出喎。They were busy doing their rituals. 佢哋咧就係只係忙於做佢哋嗰啲儀式嘅，佢哋啲祭祀儀式。Ringing the bells, chanting the mantras. 咁就喺度搖鈴啦，然後咧就喺度練誦嗰啲誒曼陀啦。So the cowherd boys explained. They said to the brahmanas, that, "You know, the yagi because you have not yet begun the yagi, and there's no harm for you to give food." For Krishna and Bal, for for all of us, and for for Krishna and Lord Balaram. 咁即系我又同见到佢咁样咧，就对佢讲，对佢哋讲啦。佢话你哋都未开始做啲祭祀，其实你诶俾啲食物我哋诶帮助下我哋诶诶啲牧牛童啦，同埋 Krishna 同 Balaram 咧系冇问题噶，你都未开始。They were thinking maybe the Brahmanas just worried that. You know they'll commit some offence if they give food away when they're doing the yoga. 嗯，咁啲牧牛童咧，其实都为佢哋着想啦，以为啲婆罗门啦，啊担心咧，如果未做啲祭祀，就将啲诶食物诶攞送俾佢 Krishna 同 Balaram 嗰啲牧牛童咧，系会有冒犯啦咁样。But the cowherd boys told, they said, they explained very clearly that there's there's no offence. You know, you you haven't begun the yoga yet. You haven't. Taken any food yet? There's no offence if you give away some food. Yeah. So the monk told them, "Tell them to explain. They said, 'You haven't yet started to do the yoga. There's no offence if you give away some food. But the Brahmin didn't say anything. 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 咁佢只係咧喺度假設咧係見唔到啲牛牛熊。You just ignore them。只係喺度即係唔理睬佢哋。So they came back to Lord Krishna and Lord Balaram. They told them。於是咧啲牛牛熊就翻去就將個誒事情嘅經過就講俾誒 Krishna 同埋 Balaram 聽。So Lord Krishna told the cowherd boys, "That's that's the nature of begging." 咁誒 ，Krishna 咧就教導啲黃牛熊啦。佢話呢個就係我哋去行乞嘅本質。When you go begging, sometimes you will be given, sometimes you won't. 當你去乞求一啲嘢嘅時候咧，有時你會得到，有時你會會得唔到嘅。So we see, actually, uh, devotees when often when we go for book distribution, it's something like that. 咁所以咧，我哋出去派書咧，其實我哋都遇到相同嘅情況。And you'll see in Buddhist countries, of course, where the Buddhist monks are there, Buddhist monks they will go begging every day. 咁如果你去到一啲佛教嘅國家咧，當地嗰啲佛教即係僧人啊咁樣咧，佢哋會係挨家挨户咁去誒求乞嘅，求乞。We can see, and especially in Thailand. You see the monks go out every morning to beg their food. 嗯，咁特別喺泰國啦，你會見到當地嘅僧人咧，每日咧佢哋都會出去行乞嘅。And whatever they they collect in the day, they'll finish by the night. 
呢個你啊誒黑土要翻嚟嗰啲食物咧，佢哋就會當日咧就會即係用食曬噶啦。They don't accumulate anything。佢哋就唔會累積任何嘅食物嘅。So so they keep their lives simple。佢哋咧係維持一種好簡樸嘅生活。So it's actually allowed for brahmanas to beg。咁誒，婆羅門咧係可以去去誒、啊、行行乞嘅。Right, Brahmana is supposed to be allowed to do six activities. 婆羅門咧係誒容許咧係做六種嘅活動嘅。Brahmana is not supposed to work for anyone. 係婆羅門唔應該咧係要為工作去賺錢。But Brahmana can study the scriptures. 婆羅門可以去讀。And they can teach the scriptures. They can also teach the scriptures. And they can worship the deities. And they can teach people to worship them. So they need to worship the deities. And they can also teach people to worship the deities. And they can accept charity. And they can also give charity. So they can accept charity. And they can also give charity. So they can accept charity. And they can also give charity. So they can accept charity. And they can also give charity. So they can accept charity. And they can also give charity. So they can accept charity. Brahmanas are expert in only one of these six But it's common, in, especially in India, you've got people come around, you know, and because they're brahmanas, they'll come, and people will give them charity. Um, 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 任何舉行啲活動咧，第一樣嘢咧，佢哋就會去向佛羅門求取一啲嘢。So brahmanas are always honoured in society. 嗯，咁婆羅門咧喺社會咧係好受尊敬。嗯，咁 So Lord Krishna anyway, he 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 wanted to pacify the Kaukau boys who were feeling very disappointed that they got ignored. So Lord Krishna. Told them, don't worry about it. It's the nature of begging. 咁主 Krishna 咧，见到啲牧牛童咧，因为诶，即系攞唔到食物翻嚟咧，就好气馁啦。咁主 Krishna 咧就安抚安慰佢哋。And when they began the when they began the Guru Kula in Iskon, they had the Guru Kula. The first Guru Kula was in Dallas, in Texas. And Prabhupada wanted that the children there they would go out for begging. Hmm. So when eh, this time, eh, in Dallas, eh, this place, eh, in Texas, 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 eh, in 但原來西方嘅國家咧係唔容許去乞食嘅，係犯罪嘅。唔係，唔係唔可以唔可以即係去食。In in my form, I think they go out and beg. In the Maya form, in the summer, yes, they do for two or three months. They go travelling and they beg. 咁但係喺印度，都係做嘅。Okay. 但係而家喺印度嘅 Google 咧，即係呢啲學校，喺喺 Google 咧，咁誒呢啲學校咧，亦都會俾啲小朋友出去去乞食嘅，兩三個月到啦，一年，咁就係可以嘅，即係 Google 嗰啲 Google 嘅學生嘅可以。It it's a purifying activity. 咁其實呢一個咧係一個好淨化嘅活動。Because as Lord Krishna said. Sometimes you will be given, and sometimes you will be rejected. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
。咁<笑><笑>但係當有啲奉獻者去派書嘅時候咧，佢哋咧有陣時咧就太咗激情。嗯嗯，激情。激情。即係太係啦，佢哋會太過，即係進取啊！然後咧就叫啲人咧攞啦，你攞咗呢本書走啦，咁即係好好。You don't like to hear no. 哦，因為佢哋唔想對方唔要嘅，佢哋唔想人哋拒絕佢嘅。But actually, the way of begging is that you have to do it with humility. 咁、嗯、其實我哋誒、呃、做呢、这個即係乞求呢個呢、这個活動咧，呢、这個動作咧，我哋係就要學習堅定嘅。嗯。So Lord Krishna pacified the cowherd boys and told them, "Don't worry about it." 咁、嗯、所以咧 ，Krishna 咧就。誒平息佢哋啦，就叫佢哋咧唔使擔心嘅。Just like when we distribute books, we were often told that well, one person doesn't take a book, that means that we're nearer, we're one person nearer to a person taking a book. 咁<笑>其實當我哋派本書俾一個人，佢唔接受嘅話咧，或者附近有另外一個人咧，佢係會好容易接受嘅。So you just have to keep just trying to distribute, and you come to somebody who takes the book. 咁總之你咪不斷咁派咯，你派總之都一定會有人最終會接受你本書。So Lord Krishna told the coward boys, the Brahmanas didn't want to give, they didn't acknowledge you. They, don't worry, but go to the Brahmanas' wives. 咁 Krishna 就話啦，嗰啲婆羅門理睬你哋咧。咁唔好理佢啦，咁你而家可以去唐嘅妻子嗰度問佢哋。The Brahmanas wives are there, and they'll be happy. 嗯，佢話唐羅門嘅妻子喺個喺附近㗎，佢哋會好高興嘅。So the cowherd boys thought, oh, go to the Brahmanas wives. 於是咧，啲啲無頭長咧就諗下，嗯，好啊，咁我哋去揾啲唐羅門妻子啦。So the Brahmanas, they were outside doing the yagya, and the Brahmanas' wives, they were inside the house somewhere. 咁婆羅門咧通常就喺户外做呢個祭祀儀式噶嘛，而嗰啲妻子咧就喺裏邊咧係準備啲食物。So the cowherd boys went back and they went to meet the Brahmanas' wives. 咁所以嗰啲無頭童咧就再去啦，再去去揾啲無頭童嘅啊，揾婆羅門妻子喺屋裏邊嗰啲。And Lord Krishna told them, "You can tell them, give, you tell them that I'm here with Lord Sankarshan, Lord Balaram." Hmm. So you just tell them to their wives, "Eh, Lord Krishna is here, and Lord Sankarshan, which is Balaram's other name." So when the cowherd boys went there and they met the Brahmanas' wives, they were very respectful because they are the wives of the Brahmanas. 咁誒誒，莫羅同就去到見呢啲婆羅門嘅妻子啦。咁佢哋咧就好尊敬佢哋啦，好尊敬呢啲妻子們，因為佢哋係婆羅門嘅妻子。So the Brahmanas are respected, their wives are also respected. 咁我哋應該尊敬婆羅門啦。咁當然我哋都尊敬佢哋嘅妻子嘅。And the cowherd boys respectfully requested them. Well, they respectfully informed them. The Lord Krishna and Lord Balaram are nearby. 咁我同咧就好有禮貌咁咧就向佢嘅婆羅門妻子又話俾佢聽，啊 Krishna 同埋主巴拉拉喺附近啊。So when the ladies heard the Krishna and Bal, what Lord Krishna and Balaram they're nearby. <gasps> Oh, they were very excited. So, so when the ladies heard that Krishna and Balaram were close by, they were very excited. So, so when the ladies heard that Krishna and Balaram were close by, they were very excited. So, so when the ladies heard that Krishna and Balaram were close by, they were very excited. So, so when the ladies heard that Krishna and Balaram were close by, they were very excited. So, so when the ladies heard that Krishna and Balaram were close by, they were very excited. So, so when the ladies heard that Krishna and Balaram were close by, they were very excited. So, so when the ladies heard that Krishna and Balaram were close by, they were very excited. So, so when the ladies heard that Krishna and Balaram were close by, they were very excited. So, so when the ladies heard that Krishna and Balaram were close by, they were very excited. So, so when the ladies heard that Krishna and Balaram were close by, they were very excited. So, so when the ladies heard that There's this little boy, blue-colored boy, in Vrindavan, and he killed the big demons. Because they all heard about Krishna, who killed the demons. No, Krishna didn't kill these different demons. 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 
So news was going around, news was spreading. And these, these wives of the Brahmanas, it also heard about Krishna, how he killed these different demons. And of course, the new well, he's killing demons. He, he cannot be just an ordinary boy. He must be some very special personality. And those who were more intelligent, they could understand that he must be God himself. He must be the lo the incarnation of God's come in the world in this world. Otherwise, how is it possible a little boy could kill this huge, terrible demon? So these Brahmana ladies, they immediately got up and they collected food which they had been preparing for the yagya because their husbands were doing yagya and some food had to be offered also. So they had food there. So they collected it all together and they carried it over to where Krishna and Balaram were. These Brahmana's wives, they're called the Dvija Patnis. They had developed love for Krishna. Just by hearing about Krishna. They had never met him before. But they heard about him. And when they heard he was nearby, wow, he, they had to go. And even the other, the, the, their husbands and other people, they, they didn't want them to go. Where are you going? What's this? Mm. And they're taking all the food away with them as well. Where are you going? Why are you going away? What is this? So there were objections. They tried to stop them from going. There was one lady who was stopped from going and because she didn't get to go she died she gave up her body the pain of not being able to go to see krishna was unbearable that just the pain of the separation caused her to die on the spot. And of course she went back to God. So a glorious apartment. <laughs> She was living in Vrindavan, but she didn't get to go and see Krishna, but she got to go to be with Krishna in the spiritual world. Mm. 
And the Brahmana's wives who went there to be with Krishna, of course, they brought the food and they offered their respects to Lord Krishna and Lord Balaram. And they were so happy. They told Lord Krishna that now we've come to you. We don't want to go anywhere else. Mm -hmm. 那些可以看到Krishna的妻子,他们现在就带着Krishna,去到宋拜Krishna,然后他们因为很想跟Krishna在一起,他们就跟Krishna说,你们现在我们不想去任何地方,我们只想跟你们在一起。They told Lord Krishna, now we've got the shelter of your lotus feet. We don't want to go anywhere. But Lord Krishna told them, uh -uh. no, no, that's not the way. You don't attain me just by being in my physical presence. You can attain me by chanting my glories or by worshipping my deity or you can uh, develop your devotion through uh, what else? He hearing my glories, mm. chanting my glories, worshipping the deity, mm. different ways. Mm. But not just by my physical, by being in my physical presence. So the others, it's interesting to compare the wives of the Brahmanas to the gopis. The gopis also came to Krishna when Krishna was in the forest. They left everything. They overcame all the obstacles to come to Krishna. 那牛夫人呢,那次去森林呢,也都是放棄曬一切,那去到森林呢,是去見Krishna的。Just like the Brahmana's wives, they had many obstacles, many people trying to stop them, telling them, no, don't go, but they went, they were so determined. 那牛夫人妻子也都一樣,他們其實也遇到很多障礙,很多阻礙,不讓他們去的。so in the same way, the gopis also, the young heroes, they went into the forest in the night where there are wild animals. Yes. Many, many dangers in the forest, especially in the night. The snakes become more active in the night. The jackals all come out at night. So, but the gopis risked everything to go to Krishna. And when they came to Krishna, Krishna said to them, Why are you coming here? What are you doing here? You young women, you dangerous to come here. Krishna, <laughs> 
không về lý luôn The group is thinking Krishna, you called us to come here. Đúng rồi, cứ làm cái sống đều lắm là Krishna, lấy kêu ngó thì lấy kêu Krishna tell no, 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 you should go home. You should go home. Your family will not be pleased. Nếu Krishna lê cho phản nhiên cho bạn, nhưng mà nếu để yêu phao thì nếu đi ca là người quả chỉ để được rồi. So the gopis, of course, they didn't go. They stayed in the forest and danced Rasa Lila with Krishna. And so here you have the Dvijapatnis, these wives of the Brahmanas. Lord Krishna is also telling them, go home. So you can from the Taiji Lady Dvija Patnis, they said, we left home. They said, we left home. We left our husbands. We left everything to come to you. But Lord Krishna told them that, no, your husbands won't accept you. Don't worry, their husbands will not give you up. So the gopis decided what to do. Lord Krishna told them he didn't want them to stay there with him in the forest. So the gopis went back to their husbands. Not the gopis, rather. The wives of the brahmanas went back to their husbands. The gopis didn't go back. They stayed the night with Krishna. But the wives of the brahmanas, they went. But they had also developed their love for Krishna. Great love for Krishna. That they could give up everything to go to Krishna. So they were worried, they were thinking, you know, because we left our husbands, maybe they won't take us back because we've gone to Krishna. But when they went back, their husbands didn't say anything. Rather, just the opposite. Their husbands were feeling sorry that they didn't have the same attraction to Krishna. They were thinking that how is it our wives have developed so much love for Krishna? The Brahmanas thought, our wives, they never did anything. They never did any austerities. They didn't go and live in the ashram of the Guru. They didn't practice celibacy. They didn't study all the mantras we studied. But still, they've got so much attraction for Krishna. Why didn't we get some attraction for Krishna? And they're just doing these 
rituals。我哋只係喺度做呢啲儀式。These rituals, the rituals which are meant to take you to heaven。咁啲儀式實際上其實應該幫我哋去天堂噶。嗯，我，你問。Chinese people also talk about heaven a lot, right? Tian Tan. Hmm. Then Chinese also have talked about Tian Tan, but they don't really want to think about. They want their home to be like heaven. Then Chinese also want their home to be like heaven. But in heaven, in heaven, in heaven, there's all heaven is still in the material world. Hmm. But Tian Tan, then, is still in the material world. There's also birth and death there. 天堂里面都仲有生同埋死。So these Brahmanas, they were concerned with these things. They wanted, they were thinking this is important to go to heaven. 嗯，咁所以婆罗门咧只系关注呢啲事，佢哋只系想去天堂。But a devotee has no attraction for that. 但系奉献者咧就对天堂咧冇乜兴趣。So these brahmanas, they were regretting that they had so much attraction towards these mundane rituals. 咁而家啲婆羅門咧就開始有少少後悔啦，佢哋咧係咁被呢啲咁嘅世俗嘅呢啲咁嘅儀式所吸引。And they failed, they failed to recognize Lord Krishna. 佢哋咧係完全咧係認，即係認唔出 Krishna 咧。They failed to recognize Lord Krishna as the supreme personality of Godhead. They thought of him as an ordinary person. They didn't recognize Krishna as a supreme personality of Godhead. They thought of him as an ordinary person. They didn't recognize Krishna as a supreme personality of Godhead. They thought of him as an ordinary person. They didn't recognize Krishna as a supreme personality of Godhead. They thought of him as an ordinary person. They didn't recognize Krishna as a supreme personality of Godhead. They thought of him as an ordinary person. They didn't recognize Krishna as a supreme personality of Godhead. Manushim tanam ashritam param bhavam ajananto mama bhuta maheshwaram. Lord Krishna said, The foolish mock at me, descending amongst them like a human being. Then Krishna said, The foolish mock at me, descending amongst them like a human being. They do not know my transcendental nature. They do not know my transcendental nature. They do not know my transcendental nature. And my dominion over all the beings. Yeah. And I am the one who rules all beings. So, like this, these Brahmanas, they had missed. They had not understood Lord Krishna. So, these Brahmanas, they had not understood Lord Krishna. You know, sometimes people say, "Why doesn't Lord Krishna come?" And then we will all surrender to him. Then some people say, "Why doesn't Lord Krishna come?" And then we will all surrender to him. Then some people say, "Why doesn't Lord Krishna come?" And then we will all surrender to him. Then some people say, "Why doesn't Lord Krishna come?" And then we will all surrender to him. Then some people say, "Why doesn't Lord Krishna come?" And then we will all surrender to him. Then some people say, "Why doesn't Lord Krishna come?" And then we will all surrender to him. Then some people say, "Why doesn't Lord Krishna come?" And then we will all surrender to him. Then some people say, "Why doesn't Lord Krishna come?" And then we will all surrender to him. Then some people say, "Why doesn't Lord Krishna come?" And then we will all surrender to him. Then some people say, "Why doesn't Lord Krishna come?" There were only a few people who were very fortunate who could understand Krishna's identity. 当时亦都只系好少嘅一部分嘅人咧，系诶知道 Krishna 呢个真正嘅身份啦，原来系归依本土。People like the Pandavas and Uddhava and then also Akrura, these people. 咁呢啲好幸運嘅人物就係誒哈羅華五兄弟啦，誒烏羅華啦，佢嘅堂兄弟啦，同埋阿姑啦，佢嘅叔子。Then of course there was the Prince Basi people who are all very special souls. 咁當然有誒呢個呢出巴士即係永嘉雄嘅居民啦，佢哋係一啲好幸運嘅農人，係一啲好特別嘅農人。And somehow these wives of the Brahmanas, they could understand what she says. 咁但係不知怎地咧，呢啲婆羅門嘅妻子咧，佢哋咧亦都有足夠嘅智慧咧，去明白 Krishna 嘅。But not their husband。但係反而佢哋啲啲丈夫就唔明嘅。嗯。嗱 ，husbands were thinking we're brahmanas, we're the head of society。咁啲家明娜咧就個心就咁諗啦，誒，我哋係婆羅門喎，我哋係社會階層嘅最最高嗰一級嘅喎。
But when the personality of Godhead came before them begging, they could not give any of their clothes. So this is one of the interesting pastimes of Lord Krishna. That Lord Krishna they're, they're begging. The Lord, he's the supreme controller, the personality of Godhead, but he comes sometimes to beg from others. Krishna doesn't need to beg from anyone. He has, he is a supreme, he's Bhagavan, he possesses all opulences. He doesn't need to beg from anyone. There was a pastime in Lord Chaitanya's Leela. The, the secretary of Advaita Acharya. His secretary wrote a message to the king. And he told the king, he said, Advaita Acharya is the incarnation of God. And he's in debt 300 rupees. So, like the secretary was like requesting the king if you could pay off the debt for Advaita Acharya. So Lord Chaitanya somehow got this message. It was meant for the king of Puri, but it came to Lord Chaitanya. So Lord Chaitanya read the message and he said, Oh, he said, oh, this is very good. He said, he recognizes that this Advaita Acharya is the incarnation of God. Certainly he is. He is correct. But then... He is saying Advaita Acharya is in debt 300 rupees. This is an offense. How could somebody be God be in debt 300 rupees? So it's contradictory. Because somebody is God means he's Bhagavan, because he's all opulence. Mm. But he's saying he's God and he's in debt 300 rupees. <laughs> So Lord Chaitanya said, this person should not come in my association again. But then Advaita Acharya came and spoke. Advaita Acharya argued with Lord Chaitanya. He said, Previously, he said, when I preached the Mayavadi philosophy, then you you beat me. But you did not ban me from your association. So you're giving more mercy 
to my secretary than you gave to me. 但你現在是給更多人士給我的秘書,即是我沒有我的秘書更多人士。Why you give him more mercy than me? 為什麼你給他更多人士給他? So then what you say to the author, bring him. 於是主書太人就說好了, and then Lord Chaitanya instructed them that God can never be in debt. And devotees, you should be very careful about who you take money from. Because if you take money from sinful people, you will take their time. And especially to be careful about taking food from people who are non-devoted. So in this way, Lord Chaitanya is giving very important instructions to all the devotees. So, so devotees should be very careful. We probably said we don't take any food from non-devotees. You may take uncut fruit. They should not be cut because they, their knives are used to cut meat. And we shouldn't take money from sinful people. 另外一樣我們就一定唔可以從那些有罪的人來攞錢 If sinful people give money, we will give it to the temple 如果那些罪惡的人,犯罪的人,他給錢你,你就給給你 We can give it to the temple 你可以交給你,你捐了給你 We don't take anything for us 我們不會是代入自己的代入 so Lord Krishna was begging from these Brahmanas. And we see also Lord Vamanadev came begging from Bali Maharaj. Bali Maharaj was told by his guru. Sukracharya to give charity to Brahman. Hmm.咁啊，巴尼马拉斯咧就从佢嘅灵性导师Sukracharya咧系诶听取有班人教导咧就系话要向婆罗门布施喎。People like when they give charity, they like to give to Brahman. Hmm.咁所以当啲人想布施嘅时候咧，佢哋就好喜欢咧系布施俾婆罗门。They get more benefits when they give to Brahman. 因為如果我們佈施給婆羅門,我們得到的利益是更大 But the Brahmana has to be a pure Brahmana 但是這個婆羅門一定是純粹的婆羅門 Not just a Brahmana by birth 就不是那些說出生是一個婆羅門家庭的婆羅門 It should be a Brahmana who studied the scriptures 如果你是不讀經典,你就不可以成為婆羅門 And according to this more pure, if it's more elevated spiritually, then you get more benefit. And if he's a devotee, then you get much more benefit. And the charity can come back many times. So Lord Krishna was enacting this pastime of begging from the Brahmanas. Krishna Mr. Brahmanas, 
can receive charity, but they can also give charity. 他们呢可以接受布施呢,他们也都可以布施出去。So Lord Krishna was giving them the opportunity to get the greatest benefit, to give charity to Lord Krishna.咁其实而家Krishna呢就俾机会佢,俾机会佢呢去做呢一个布施呢个工作,就要即系俾Krishna睇啲食物。But these brahmanas were so stupid, they couldn't take advantage. 但這些婆羅門是很愚蠢,他們都不利用到這麼好的機會。Because they were thinking, oh, he's just some cowherd boy. 因為他們的心想,他只是一個木牛童。He's just a low class. 那些很低層的人,they could not understand he's the supreme personality of God. 所以這些婆羅門就不可以明白到自尊人的道士。But they didn't take the opportunity to give any charity.所以他們是不懂得利用這個機會來報銷給Krishna。Later on you hear when Krishna goes to Mathura, when he came into Mathura, he, he also asked for some charity. 那前天我們會見到Krishna去到Mathura呢,他也都向人要求一些保守。He came to Mathura and he met with Kamsa's laundry man.他去到Mathura呢,他就遇到一些洗衣服的人。Lord Krishna and Lord Balaram had come from Vrindavan.那主Krishna和主Balaram呢,就剛剛在Vrindavan來到Mathura。So Vrindavan is a village. So you know the people in the village, the simple people, you know, simple, and they will wear simple clothes, you know. They won't have any of the names, you're not going to get Giordano, Benetti, these names there in the village, you know. It's a village. They're simple. So Lord Krishna and Lord Balaram and the Kavar Twice, they'd all come from Vrindavan. You know, like when people come from the countryside, they come into the city, come to Hong Kong, oh, they want to look like Hong Kong people. They don't want to look like village people. So Lord Krishna and Lord, they met with the laundry man of Kamsa. And they saw he's got all these nice clothes. Oh, beautiful colors, very nice material. And they're coming from the village in their old clothes, you know, they've been with the cows, going in the forest every day with the cows. Now they come to Mathura. And they see cats and laundry mines got all this nice cloth. So they ask them, could you give some cloth for us? And Kamsa's laundry man gets all angry. But you cheeky boys, who are you boys? You, King Kamsa will have you punished. This cloth all belongs to King Kamsa. Don't be so cheeky. Want to take the cloth of the king? Mm. 
And so Krishna was not very happy to hear these nasty words mm -hmm. from this laundry man. Krishna cut off his hands. And all the other people, they run away. <laughs> and Krishna and the Kamar boys took all the cloth. So the laundry man he didn't want to give. Krishna was begging, asking him to give some cloth. He wouldn't give. But if you give to Krishna, one who gives to Krishna is never the loser. Even here in Hong Kong, right, we have the experience. Sometimes there was this, we had this one man, he was a businessman, and he said, I don't mind to give to the temple because I know whenever I give to the temple, it will come back. So the, these Brahmanas, they were doing the ritual, they couldn't understand who is Krishna. But after their wives had gone there to be with Krishna, and they, and they come back, somehow the Brahman had reconsidered and they were regretting how unfortunate they were. That they never take it, they did not take the advantage to give to Krishna. To go to see Krishna and to give food to Krishna. And even after their wives came back, they wanted to go and see Krishna, but they didn't. Because they were worried that if we go and see Krishna, Kamsa may hear about him. And if what the King Kamsa hears about it, we'll be punished. And so they were really in the bodily concept of life. But their wives, they didn't have any fear like that. They didn't have any attachment. They were not worried. Oh, my husband may not take me back. King Kamsa may hear about me, he may punish me. They were not, they, got, they didn't worry about it. They were just so mad to he, to be with Krishna. They had that desire, strong and eagerness. They must go to be with Krishna. And when you want something bad enough, then nothing can stop. So these wives of the Brahmanas, they're very special devotees. 
，所以呢啲華人嘅妻子咧，係一啲好特別嘅同性者。And they had the the opportunity to give to Krishna, bring food to offer to Krishna. 所以佢哋得咗一個咁特別嘅機會咧，係可以即係誒對於食物支持。And they also got personal instruction from Lord Krishna. 嗯，佢哋亦都可以咧，係得到一啲係好好個人嘅誒指示嘅，從 Krishna 嗰度。And he taught them. That you don't have to be in my physical presence. 咁就誒誒，訓示佢哋咧，就你哋唔需要一定咧，係即係存在喺我在我喺你身邊嘅時候。Sometimes devotees have that desire; they want to be with Krishna. 咁有時奉獻者都會有咁嘅心水嘅，佢哋都好想即係同 Krishna 喺一齊。But of course, we know Krishna is everywhere. 咁當然，我哋知道其實 Krishna 係無處不在。He's in everything. He's in every atom. 嗯，佢喺存在喺甚至係物件裏邊啦，甚至喺原子裏邊啦。In the tenth chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna describes to Arjuna that Lord Krishna has been he explained all the vibhutis how he is present in everything. 嗯。咁喺《國家行多》嘅第十章咧 ，Krishna 咧就向 Chris 啊 Arjuna 解釋咧，佢話我其實咧係存在喺所有嘅誒一切物件之中，物體之中。Instead of rivers, I am the Ganga. 咁喺河流之中咧，我就係恆河。Of beasts, I am the lion. 喺誒野獸之中咧，我就係。Of aquatics, I am the shark. 喺鱼类之中咧，我就系鲨鱼。啊 ，all powerful things. Lord Krishna explains many different opulences. 嗯，咁喺所有呢啲好即系代表力量嘅东西之中咧 ，Krishna 咧就系展示佢嘅。But but then at the end of it all, Lord Krishna says to Arjuna, but there's no need of all this detailed knowledge. 咁最後佢反而對 Krish 對 Arjuna 講，其實佢話你唔需要知道呢啲咁多嘅細節嘅。With a single fragment of myself, I pervade the entire creation. 嗯，咁其實所有我整體嘅創造咧，只係我好零碎嘅一部分。So that the super soul, Lord Krishna is present everywhere as the super soul. 咁 Krishna 以佢超靈嘅形式咧，存在喺所有嘅生命之中。But some people say, "Well, I don't want the super soul. I want Krishna. Krishna, I want Krishna." 咁有啲同學仔就話：，嗯，我唔想要超靈嘅，我要 Krishna 啊。So then Lord Krishna says, "And worship my deity." 嗯，咁 Krishna 咁就誒推薦佢啦。咁如果係咁嘅話咧，你就崇拜我嘅神像啦。The deity of Krishna, not different from Krishna. 咁 Krishna 嘅神像咧，係同 Krishna 本人咧係冇分別。And Lord Krishna also comes in the Kali Yuga in the form of His holy name. 而 Krishna 咧喺 Kali 年代咧就以呢個佢嘅聖名咧係存在。Kali Kali Nama Rupa Krishna Avatar. In the Kali Yuga, Krishna comes in the form of His name. 咁呢個獅子咧就係話喺 Kali 年代咧 ，Krishna 咧就係以佢。So we can associate with Krishna in these ways. 嗯，所以我哋可以用呢啲不同嘅方法同 Krishna 联系。You may be fortunate to get physical presence. You may not. It's up to Krishna. 嗯，咁亦都系根据 Krishna 本人嘅意愿咧，我哋可唔可以得到诶亲眼见到同 Krishna 一齐咧？或者我哋系唔会亲眼见到同 Krishna 一齐。The wives of the Brahmanas wanted to stay there with Krishna. They wanted to stay in the forest with Krishna. 咁婆罗门嘅妻子咧，佢哋都好渴望咧，可以留喺森林咧，系同 Krishna 一齐嘅。But Lord Krishna sent them. 但系 Krishna 咧就叫佢哋翻屋企嘅。And their husbands appreciated. How fortunate! How exalted their wives were. 嗯，咁婆罗门诶，佢哋妻子翻到去咧，佢就反而咧系好能够欣赏佢哋妻子呢个上辈嘅地位。And how unfortunate they were. 然后咧，亦都觉察到自己系好不幸。That they didn't have that attraction. 嗯，佢哋咧系冇被 Krishna 吸引，呢个系佢哋嘅不幸。
Do you want to add anything for me? Okay. What about the uh, art center? Yeah, what, what is that? I sent it to you. Yes, I have it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Shil Shila Bhaktivinoda Thakur describes the Anartha. Then, Bhaktivinoda Thakur also talks about the time of the time. So, we don't want to be able to live. So, here, it's described that this pastime represents the fault of indifference towards Krishna. So, this time of the time, it was released by Krishna. Indifferent means, no, it's just Krishna, you know, we don't think very important, nobody very special. And, and why would they think like that? Because of pride due to their own birth. They're thinking, I'm a Brahmin. He's, he's just a coward boy. He's a coward boy. He's a, he's a Vaishya. He's not very high class. He just takes care of just take care of the cows and the forest. I am educated. I'm a Brahmana. I'm high class by birth. So the Brahmanas, they do these yagyas, they do yagya. <laughs> but they become very attached to the position in society. They're thinking, I am the head of the social board. And they become also absorbed in material activities, doing yagya for material benefit. So this is the problem for Brahmana. They become proud. Just like somebody is in the mode of goodness, they can become proud. We have, we have to be very careful. Pride comes before the fall. It's very important to control our mind, not to become overly absorbed in the material conception of life. Lord Chaitanya teaches us, you know, we say, I am not a Brahmana, I'm not a Kshatriya, I'm not a Vaishya, I'm not a Sudra. I'm not a Sanyasi or a Vanaprastha or a Grihastha or a Brahmacharya. I am simply the servant of the servant of that one Supreme Lord. The bodily, this material conception, I'm thinking I'm not brand new. So, this is the thing that I think is the thing. I'm a sannyasi. It's material conception. 
如果你即係認為自己係學背真啊，咁呢個都係推底嘅概念。On the spiritual platform, we are servants of Krishna。如果我哋喺呢個啊靈性嘅角度咧，我哋只係知道自己係一個僕落。So these, these brahmanas show the the problem when people become too much attached to their material position and society. 嗯，咁所以呢个婆罗门嗰啲问题咧，带出咧就系话我哋系太过咧系依附喺我哋呢个诶物质嘅诶拥有嘅嘢。They don't want. 物质嘅位置。They don't want to give. They don't want to do service to Krishna. 嗯，佢哋系唔愿意系为 Krishna 做服务。They will do rituals. They will do yagya. 嗯，佢哋做好多祭祀啊，做好多呢啲仪式咧。But they don't want to serve Krishna. 嗯，但系佢哋就唔想去做 Krishna. Okay, so is there any question? 嗯，好啦，咁到呢度为止，有冇问题？未？未 comment? Any question? 有冇评论？ Yes, Maharaj. Just now you um recommend that we should not be uh attached in the mode of goodness. That means mode of goodness also bring some force. But then we are also advised to raise ourselves to the mode of goodness. So, yeah. how to understand? Yes. Yeah. Well, we have to understand that certainly the mode of goodness is better than the mode of passion and the mode of ignorance. But the mode of goodness itself is on the material platform. 咁但系诶，善良形诶系啦，善良形态咧仍然都仲系喺物质嘅层面。And at any time we can fall back to the modes of passion and ignorance. 咁所以咧系好有入诶机会咧，我哋系会跌翻落去激情啊，同埋愚昧形态嘅。So what we do want to do is to come up to the mode of pure goodness. 所以我哋要做嘅咧就系话，我哋要将自己提升到去咧系纯粹嘅善良形态。Come to the level of Shuddha Sattva. 去到一个 Shuddha Sattva 嘅状态，即系纯善嘅状态。Where there's no influence of passion and ignorance. 嗯，到呢个形态咧，我哋就唔会受呢个激情同埋愚昧属性嘅影响。Pure goodness. 纯用纯善嘅状态。But otherwise, just to be in the mode of goodness, there's the danger, the the danger of feeling that I'm better than others. 嗯，咁如果我哋系诶。物质嘅善良形态咧，我哋好多时都会谂，嗯，我比人好喎。I have knowledge。我有知识。Generally, people in the mode of goodness, they have knowledge。嗯，一般嚟讲，喺善良形态啲人咧，都系有啲知识嘅。I'm happy. I'm happy。嗯，我几几开心啊，几快乐啊。We're happy in our thinking. Thinking we're better than others. When we think we're better than others, we feel better. I'm better situated. I'm better situated. I'm high class. I'm Ramana. I'm my birth is very good. I have a good place. I'm better than others. I'm better situated. 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 That can come in the mode of good if you're just in the mode of goodness. So if you're just in the mode of goodness, you can just be in the mode of goodness. So if you're just in the mode of goodness, the mode of goodness facilitates happiness and also knowledge. Because the mode of goodness will bring us happiness and knowledge. But when you get that happiness is the fact that you're above others, you're better than others. 但係嗰種快樂咧，就令你諗到你係比人好啊，比人咩係咪 ？And then I'm educated, I have knowledge. 我有知識啊，我受過教育啊咁樣。You look other people, they're not educated. 嗯，其他人咧都冇乜知識，冇乜教育
So these are the dangers of the mode of living. We have to cultivate the mode of goodness in relation to Krishna conscious. We have to see it as a stepping stone to pure goodness. Get rid of the mode of passion and ignorance. And come to that level of pure goodness. Otherwise, just being in the mode of goodness can be dangerous. So we have to come up to that Shuddha Sattva. Uh, our mode of goodness must be in relation to devotional service. Someone else, the mode of goodness, is pious, material piety. They're vegetarian. They may give some charity now and again. They don't have any real sinful activities. They don't drink alcohol. They don't smoke. They're in the mode of goodness. But they can be influenced also by passion. The influence can come. Maybe, maybe they, they, they invest some money and they lose the money. They will be very angry. They expect it to make money. They lost all the money. When they're driving their car, somebody hits their car. They feel very angry. More passion. And from the mode of passion can degrade to the mode of ignorance. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think the from someone's Um, nowadays, they become dominant. They, uh, they do, they do sacrifice for others, and then they charge. They charge money for doing the sacrifice for the others. Is there a proper way to do so? Uh, um, well, the Brahmana is giving some service. He's doing a, a yagya for you. So you, you're certainly obliged to pay something. What's important is that the Brahmana should be a pure Brahmana. He should, he should not be a drunkard. You know, when you get Kali Yuga Brahmana, they drink and they smoke and everything. 
So, you know, you don't want to give money to somebody like that. So, I know they have some patient, yet you come in. But if you give to, to money to the, the Brahmin who is pure, he would, he's not going to spend the money on alcohol or meat and stuff. Then, I mean, you ask him to do service, you have to pay for it. Yeah. Well, they want to make sure they're getting a certain amount of money, eh? Right? I guess they feel if, if we just depend on donations, it's not so they fix the price and then there's no problem. <laughs> One time in, in England, uh, at the temple, the devotees were, they sold, they sold some prasada. So one man complained to Prabhupada that devotees shouldn't be selling prasada. And Prabhupada said to the man, because you don't donate, that's why you <laughs> <laughs> but then Prophet told the devotees also he said don't sell for son. <laughs> so I mean some you can do it, you can have prasadam which is sold and prasadam which is free. Mm. You know, they have things, special prasada, maybe mm. cakes and sweets and stuff like that. Mm. So people can purchase the thing, biscuits also, people can purchase the thing. And you can have the regular prasada, which is distributed to everyone. Mm. Can, can we finish now? No. Uh, you may or may not know, today is Vishwa's daughter's birthday. So, we, yeah, he's just outside with the daughter. So we all want to go out before the deities close and do a blessing and something, something. Happy birthday. May Krishna bless you. All the, before the deities close. I'm Nourishing Kamara, Kija, thank you, Brenda Kija, Thank you.